Good morning, everybody. It's let me check. Twenty-five past seven in the morning. We need to get going in five minutes because my appointment's at nine o'clock and it takes about an hour to get this. <laughs> need to need to get a move on quite quick. Um, sorry about the mess behind. We need to sort the house out as well. But yeah, feeling good. Despite a bad night's sleep, it was so warm last night and I just kept waking up every like 20 minutes, half an hour. So I'm a, bit, a little bit groggy this morning, but I've had some fruit, had a cold glass of water and hopefully that should kick in and give me the energy I need to get there. So yeah, we'll check in on the way. I won't do too much recording on the way to the uh, dealerships because you, you know, it gets a bit boring just seeing just roads, 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 roads on the video all the time. So I'll get a couple of cool little, if I can find some cool sites, I'll be sure to snap them. So I'll get some of that in. But if not, I'll see you at the dealers. Nice one. <laughs> Well, it's a lovely day for a ride and this bike is I don't know if it's because it's breaking in or what but it's having no issue getting to Seventer and um, you know I remember driving it to my first service boy I was struggling to get 60 I really was struggling to get up there I think I averaged about 55 to 60 was the was the whole average and this time it's just whenever I want it to it will just get to Seventer well, even if that's a small incline as well, in the you know, even if there's a slight hill, it will still pull me to 70. And I reckon it'd go more, but 70 is the limit, and 70 is all I need, so 70 is all I'd go. But how cool is that? I'm well happy about that. But hang back so that lorry can see me behind this car. I can't remember coming this way. Oh well, it's an adventure! So this is a different route to last time because there's been a road Ooh, wow. Here are Sharpie mate. I bet you won't mind fishing that. Wow. Oh my god, that's gorgeous. So gorgeous. Wow, what a treat. Wow, I 
love it when that happens. Surprise view. You're just driving or riding and you, you don't know where you are and all of a sudden, bam, something gorgeous. A few moments later. Oh no, this does not look good. Okay, stay positive. Take your time. All things can be overcome. Oh, this is not good though. Take your time, Rick. There's no panic, there's no rush. Just take your time. Clutch control, first gear. All the way through. Well done, mate. Well done. Proud of that. Now, from my theory test, I remember it saying, what do you do when after you've ridden through something like that? You lightly, very lightly, start pressing the brakes just to dry them off a bit. You don't slam them on. You ever so, ever so lightly. Just start playing the brakes. There we are. Get that all nice and dry. There we go. They feel nice and sharp again. Sweet. Okay. Speedway Motors in Cannock, here we are. So I'm not sure where they want me to put my bike, but uh, let me think about this. Is there room down there? Maybe not. Just for now, I'm going to go behind my car. Go and tell them that. Ooh, these side stands, I tell you, don't have faith in them. I do, mate. All right. Good, good, good. They're nice. Oh nice Hi everyone, so that was short and sweet uh, I dropped my bike off and as usual the chaps are nice and friendly and helpful and just wanted to crack on with the work I explained to them the rattling noise and they said because it's your second service you probably find that it's your valves that need adjustment and which is weird because I explained the rattle to them on my first service, it was there from the beginning, so has my, have my valves been out since then, since new? I'm not too sure. But they was ever so friendly and yeah, so new sprockets, a new heavy duty gold chain, as well as the full service. And I explained to them that I wanted that master cylinder fit in and he said it will certainly have a go for me. So hopefully today all me, all me little bits and bobs will be ticked off. It's only going to take him about an hour and a half, he said, so that's that's brilliant news. So we're going to go and find some McDonald's now, go and have a breakfast. Yeah, brilliant, 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 brilliant day. Nice one, catch you in a bit. Found one, we found a McDonald's. Nice left shoulder check there, babe. Mm -hmm. Let's go eat something. We've got to go to a different McDonald's because that one's too small to let people sit in. So we've been directed to another McDonald's where you are allowed to sit in. And also they offer the 50% off because it's, was it Monday, Wednesday? 
Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, they offer the 50 cents off all food as long as you eat it inside. So we're off to find the other one now. See you there. This looks way too posh for a McDonald's. Look at that. <laughs> Oh, that was nice, wasn't it, babe? Yes. Yes, first McDonald's after lockdown, and it was really nice. And um, yeah, for those who don't know, you have to go into McDonald's wearing a mask, but once you're seated, you can take your mask off. They bring you the food, and then when they... You know what? I don't even need that one. <laughs> <laughs> they bring the food to you, but you have to, you have to take the food off the tray that they bring it to you on and then when you finish you just leave your rubbish on the table which I felt quite rude doing that but if that's the law that's the law so yeah we've got some time to kill we've got about an hour and a half to kill still so could have chill in the car finish my drink yeah I'm just oh, something's touching my ear oh, I felt like a spider a few moments later More moments later. <laughs> One eternity later. <laughs> I've never seen it being ridden before. Sound too bad, does it? Good for one, two, five. Boiling. So just chilling in the back of the car because I'm not quite finished with my bike yet. I asked the lady in there about the 380s, and she said at the minute there's none in stock all across the UK, and they might have some back in stock in about five to six weeks' time. So that's when I can start asking questions and seeing how much they'd offer me for my one, two, five. But I suppose it gives me time to save up some money. You know, but yeah, these guys can order it me and for me anyway. The 380, so yeah, nothing enough to do but just melt in the sun for a bit more time, <laughs> isn't it, babe? <laughs> See you in a bit. The chap took it for a test ride because I could still hear that rattle. He said he took it up and down the street, and he was, he was gone a good few minutes, and he said he couldn't hear, hear the rattle at all. So, what can I do? I can hear it right now, it's, it's there. I can hear a rattle right there and it's not me being picky, that's me being... I've had this bike from new and when I first got it, it didn't make that noise. Over time, it started making that noise. But well, what can I do? I'll tell you what though, that, that heavy duty chain does make a difference. Bloody hell. How can he not hear that rattle though? I've been told the same thing as I've been told twice by them now. If, it, if you hear the noise or it gets worse, come back. If I go back for this rattle, this will be the third time I've gone for that rattle, so I'm going to have to take it to a different garage. But I've got no choice now. Oh my god, it's so loud. Oh, yeah, so quite frustrating, but it is what it is. There's worse things that could be happening to me, you know. But yeah, nice service. New sprockets, new heavy duty chain fitted. And the whole thing come to, a that was another thing as well. He said he doesn't want to fit the master cylinder because it, it won't fit on my handlebar. Well, I test fitted it yesterday and it fit on the handlebar and it didn't catch anything, so there's that. So it looks like I'm going to have to do that myself. I did try and get my dealers to do it, but 
I don't know. I don't know. We'll just have to go from there. Can only, can only, you know, go with what I've been told. You know what I mean? So yeah. What I should do is test ride someone else's LXR to um, to see if their bike makes the same noise. But, but in saying that, this bike didn't use to ride. This, you know, my first few weeks of owning it, it was it, there was no noise other than the exhaust noise. I feel like they've got some grease on my brakes as well. Yeah, they're a bit they're a bit soft. It's a long ride out though isn't it it's a long for me it is it's like an, an hour's ride away and i've got to got to fuel two vehicles because i don't know if they're going to need my bike for more than a day so i have to fuel that one fuel this one there and there and back and in the end i'm just not happy so It is what it is. It is what it is. And what it is, is nice and sunny. But I'm going to get home and fit that master cylinder myself. Hi everyone, so as I'm editing the video I've realised I've not spoken about what it cost me to have my bike serviced and have the chain and sprockets replaced so I just thought I'd make a quick video now so up top we've got labour, below we've got parts so labour for the standard service was £54.16 with the VAT £64.99 and that included a litre of oil, your sundries, your waste oil removal and a spark plug. So what you're getting for £65 is one litre of oil and a spark plug. Now these things can be bought for less than 15 quid off CMPO and can be replaced within 15 minutes yourself. So a good 50 quid cheaper. But if you do that, you won't have your warranty. So just do it. Just, just keep your warranty is what I would suggest. Even though you do feel like you're getting a bit ripped off, it is what it is. But my Fit in for my sprockets and chain, 30 quid. Can't moan at that really, you know. Again, it's a job you can do yourself, but I just didn't want to risk losing any warranty. So whilst it was in for its second service, I had them fit them as well. But yeah, there you go. So total cost of everything was 126.98. So for your second service, for me it was 64.99. Litre of oil, oil change, and your spark plug. And then I know they retalk all your bolts and you know, the adjust your chain, depending on what it needs adjusting to, whether it needs tightening or slackening. Most nine times out of ten, well, well more than that really, a higher percentage than that, is it's going to need tightening. And what else was I going to say? Yeah, and I think they check your brakes over, but I think they missed that on mine because I believe I had some sort of grease or lubricant on all my brakes because on the drive home, it just did not feel right. It was. It just took forever and a day to stop, and it was quite worrying. But as soon as I got home, I sprayed the brakes down with some uh, brake cleaner, gave them a dry, that gave them a wipe down, and another, then another spray of it after, and it was back back to normal. But yep, yeah, just so you know, that's what to expect in your second service. Now, after your second service, you're around the thousand mile, mile mark, so you can ride your bike however you want. You can take the revs right up there. Now, not forever and a day because you know nothing likes to live forever a day on in the red line, but. After this service, you can you can enjoy the bike for as much as it lets you now. So yeah, there you go. Yep. So there you go, guys. And I'm going to jump to me fitting my master cylinder now because the garage said, "Oh look, this is what I'm editing. This is how I edit." So yeah, um, the garage the chap at the garage said he won't be able to fit the master cylinder because it doesn't fit on the handlebars. It does. He says it can. It's going to hit the the front fairing. It doesn't. And I don't know what it was going on about, something about it, it will snap off, it won't. So, yeah, here's here's me fitting the master cylinder, a complete novice to motorcycles, and proving that it does fit smack on, it doesn't hit anything, nothing gets pulled or twisted or in the way, 
I just think he was really busy, had a quick look at it and thought, no, that's not made for this bike, so it's probably not going to fit. But yeah, cheers guys. Hi right, guys, so I'm going to have to use my phone because my GoPro battery, you guessed it, is gone. <laughs> that's charging at the minute and as soon as that's charged I will switch back to using that. But the first thing I want to talk to you about was my master cylinder and the chap at the garage said this wouldn't fit the bike. Um, physically fit the bike. Which kind of threw me a bit because yesterday I tried it on. All I've done yesterday was undo that bolt, undo that bolt, moved it out of the way, bolted this on and it fit just as well as this one does. I mean, as you can see this one does touch the yokes or the hand or something on my leg does touch so yeah unless he means this wire won't reach round the side because if, as you can see on on this master cylinder the inputs to the side of it this one's at the back but i'm not so sure i reckon this will go on i mean he didn't try he just had a look at it he didn't take this one off and try this one and he just looked at it and, and said no it won't go but i'm gonna have a go so guys, it's absolutely fine. I've moved the handlebars left, full lock left, full lock right, nothing catches, nothing pulls, nothing twists. It fits there absolutely fine. It's on there nice and good, nice and strong. There you go. So it does fit, just, just for those who, who want to put aftermarket levers on their SE. Just get the standard LXR. Master cylinder it was like, I think it's like twenty-eight pounds. But I got an eBay, eBay. <laughs> I got a discount code which is E3AY. Uh, yeah, E3AY. So it looks like eBay. But you put the three where the beers, and I got fifteen percent off. So nothing left to do now but bleed the brakes with some fresh brake fluid. Chuck my levers on. Happy times. Bled everything. Bled everything up nice, and the brakes are super sharp, and there's no leaks, anything like that. It's just, yeah, it's just gone really well. So. I don't know what that chap was talking about when he said it just will not fit this bike. I mean, physically it fits just as the original one did. The, you know, this corner is touching this part of the handlebar, which the original master cylinder was. It fits on there nice and tight. It's There's room for the brake cable. goes up, you see it's not at a funny angle, it's not stressed or anything like that. There's plenty of wiggle room for it. When I go lock to lock, nothing catches, nothing pulls it fits right so let's just get that out there that this master cylinder from a standard lxr will fit the se with nothing with nothing needed other than the master cylinder so that's great news so even better news it's time to fit my levers so i'll catch you in a sec little how to so you see this bolt up top you've got a nut underneath undo that you will have to undo this first and this won't just pull out that's th that's threaded as well so once you've undone this bolt you'll have to undo this once you've undone this nut <laughs> yeah that's it nut you'll have to undo this bolt so i'm going to do that now and show you when i've done that moved that nut under there just there so now it's 10 mil by the way so it'll feel loose but it, it just won't come out you do need to See, just in case you don't believe me, you do need to unthread it. Oh, it's warm. Come on. Yes. Hopefully that lever won't fall out now because I'm doing it with one hand. Oh, it's loose. It's loose. So take off that or take out that bolt and then the lever oh one handed ta-da will just fall out and there you have it so in order to fit your new one be careful on this as well because these this isn't a seal this is almost like a, a spacer thing so that will have to sit in there so don't worry if that if that looks loose or or anything on yours now this is the tricky bit with one hand you've got a kind of a hole in there 
want to try and get that in there. It'd be so much easier with two hands. Right, there's no, there's no special trick to this, it's just pushing it in. So I'm going to do that, then come back. La Oh la la. I just need to give him a quick wipe down, but yeah. Absolutely. Bobby Dazzler. No issues whatsoever. Nice. Let's do the clutch. The clutch, just like the brake, is very simple. Only you need two 10mm spanners. Or ratchets, I should say. Got this jobby here. And that, that uh, not just under there. Because I'm sure on this one, if you just start on to, and you know start loosening this one, I think the top spins as well. So you need. Oh, oh no, maybe not. Okay, so. Come on. I could finish this by hand, but I've committed now. So let's keep going. <laughs> Should have finished this by hand. What? What? Got it. Okay. Now we'll do the same thing on the top. This is going to be tricky to do with one hand. I need to buy a tripod next. It just seems like there's always something I need to buy. Voila. Let's pop that down there. This will now just pop out of its place. Okay, so I'm going to show you this. Pull it. Twist it. Or pull it, so you've got the space. And then, you can basically see that in there. We've just got to pop that out now, so. Ta-da! I'm going to go and grab my new lever. I, need two. I really am going to need two hands now. So basically, we need to, so you take your lever, Turn it upside down. Try and... Right, one second. So you turn it upside down, you pop that back in. So as you turn it here, get the cable to go in that gap. Keep twisting and Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. Put your bolt back in. Jobs are good, done. God, they're so much nicer, aren't they? Oh yeah, actually, can you see there's a t there's like a little washer in between. Hold on, I don't know how I'm gonna get this. So I've got my bolt, and you can see that little silver thing just there. I've put a little washer in there, it doesn't need it, but I noticed that even when it was fully tight, well not fully tight, but in, there was a bit of, bit of free play and I had a washer kicking about so to keep everything nice and neat and tight I just we just wedged a washer in between 
I'm sure it'll be absolutely sound. Just don't like things loose. Everything's got to be right. Right and tight. Okay, so that's back in. So all that's left to do now is put this uh, nut back on. Call it a day. Right. Well, it's no good just looking at him. Let's go give him a give him a whoa. Oh yeah, have that one on number three. No, that's on number two. We'll put my brake on number two as well. Let's go. say it is absolutely boiling so yes I've had my bike serviced I've had my chain put on I've had my sprockets replaced uh, but the main thing that was really bugging me was this weird rattle I've got when I stand up and sit down on the bike I don't know, it's just so strange. It's such a strange, strange noise. But this is twice I've been told not to worry about it by the dealers. You know, I took it back to him. When they finished the service, you probably saw me when I rode off. Look at this lot, it's a... It's, 40, it's a 40 road, right? That turns into a 30. Now, why are these guys in such a rush to get to 30? Look, there's a... Come on, man. Have some common sense, man. Look, now they're all breaking, look. Now he wants to come back in. Too much of a rush. Come on, man. Oh, yeah. My levers, though. Woohoo! Yeah. That was worth every minute and hour spent <laughs> on sussing them out and buying parts. I will be honest. They, they feel absolutely gorgeous. You know what? The, the clutch kind of felt on and off before. I don't know why or how these levers can change that but for some reason it feels like I've got a bit more yeah I've got more room to play I can slip the clutch a bit better fantastic so yeah this noise I'm just gonna have to live with it maybe all elixirs make the noise <laughs> I'm not sat on another one so or maybe it's just you know I've just got fatter over lockdown which I have I've put about a stone on since lockdown <laughs> and I bought this bike kind of in lockdown so, <laughs> and it is weight related when I sit on the bike, that's when the noise happens. So, maybe if I drop that stone, the noise might disappear. Plenty of shoulder checks, probably do too many to be fair. A lot of you might be thinking, but you know, worth, worth checking, isn't it? But flipping heck, yeah, what a nice warm day! So, yeah, the, the gold heavy duty gold chain, I can't say I can feel a difference really in performance or anything like that but what I will say is the gear changes do feel hell of a lot crisper a lot crisper if I'm honest and yeah so on that and for how little it costs I'll probably go for that if your chain needs replacing I think you can buy a standard chain for the LXRs for around is it 15 pounds or something where for an extra tenner you can buy the heavy duty one which I'm assuming lasts longer because it's heavy duty and it's gold which is also a nice little to add onto your bike and yeah since the service I did need my valve clearances adjusting and it's not been bogging down or popping as much since then so when I say not as much I mean it's not been bogging down at all since I've had them done and but I have had exhaust pops every now and again which I just think is the nature of having a different exhaust on so yeah and by the way I've gone against my own advice because I'm just flying up the road that uh yeah, I got a thumbs up off that one brilliant how oh, nice yeah I'm in joggers and t-shirt oh do not do not do as I do because this is very very bad even though leg I'm completely legal I need a helmet don't you to be legal it's just a bit of common sense that I just I just can't be doing with today. I've had a long hot ride to kind of come back in my full leather suit. Ugh. And I just need to nip to the nip up the road to go to the shop. And I just did not fancy putting that suit back on at all. <laughs> so yeah, so 
it does feel a bit more alive since the service, which is nice. Oh, these levers. Whoa, I can slip that clutch way nicer. Look at that. That was... Oh, I'm like a kid at Christmas. Uh, let's sneak in here. This is another perk of having a bike lock. You can just sneak in. Oh, nice. So, me and my missus, we have been on this eating healthy thing since starting back at the gym. But we've been so fed up lately of the heat, not sleeping well, and anything else? The, the heat, not sleeping well. Yeah, just them two things. And them two things have led to us feeling a bit run down and a bit, a bit fed up, I think. Not with each other, because we've got a good thing going on. But I just, just in general, you know, I'm feeling the same way. So to make up for it, we're just going to go and grab some munch because that's kind of our thing. That's our biggest, our biggest thing in life is not eating crap in bed. We love it. We love taking crisps, chocolate, donuts, cookies to bed. The diet and the exercise, we actually we enjoy that. Healthy food, healthy dinners, healthy snacks, and the exercise, we do actually enjoy that. But it, when it, it's when it comes to night time and we go to bed and we've got nothing to munch on, that's 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 where we struggle. And today we're having a day off. I said I'm going to go treat you to some munch, my treat for following me up to Canuck and back in the car. So here I am at Lido, who do the best donuts, in my opinion. Second only to Krispy Kremes, but. You know, wanna <laughs> so I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Okay, so, forgot to put my gloves on, <laughs> bloody hell, so, I've got everything I needed but my beers, and for those who don't know, I'm, I don't drink any alcohol, I haven't done for over 10 years, no particular reason other than I just don't like it, so, but I do like beer, so, I always go for the non-alcoholic option, Yeah, let's go this way. And they they stock some beautiful beer. It's called Pearl and Barker. I think it's like two pound fifty for six bottles. Such a nice beer to drink. But they've got none in stock, so I'll have to go elsewhere. I'm gonna go make a bit quick pit stop at home. Drop these goodies off, and then I'll just have to take the bike out again, eh? Ooh, isn't it a hard life? I'll catch you. I think that'll be it now actually. I think all I've got left to do is grab myself some beers and go and chill today. I was gonna edit, start editing this video but I'm just so done in today. I'm so tired and draw, drained that I'm really in the mood for just putting my PC on, hitting some games up and chilling out. So until the next time riders, nice one.